dear learners, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are well. Uh, welcome to CPSCS online class and my channel Chemistry School. Mm -hmm. This is Shafiq Islam Shafiq with EU. Dear learners, today we want to discuss about the atomic spectrum. Dear learners, the concept uh, about the spectrum uh, came from Mr. Niels Bohr model. Dear learners, uh, we know that uh, the, when the electron moves around the nucleus, then the electron doesn't emit or gain energy itself. But if we heat this, then the, then the electron just absorb energy and reach to the uh, higher energy level. And alternatively, the, when we stop heated, then the electron now come back to the to its own uh, energy level from higher energy level by uh, releasing or emitting energy. Dear learners, look at the uh, whiteboard here. There is a figure. There is a uh, simple figure of atomic model, atomic structure. Here, this is the center. I mean nucleus, and this is the, these are the different types of energy level. This is the first energy level. This is second energy level. This is third energy level. Dear learners, look at here. When the electron of first energy level just uh, jump to the higher energy level in the third energy level, then the, this electron absorb energy. And if, if that electron now fall on the lower energy level, I mean the third energy level to first energy level, then this electron radiate energy. We know that when electron radiate energy, this energy reach to the environment as the combination of color. So this is the combination of color, combination of color, and we know that this combination of color is spectrum, the singular form of spectra. And by this, uh, from an atom, we can easily create the spectrum. Dear learners, when uh, the atom just uh, create the spectrum, this is called the atomic spectrum. How the atomic spectrum will form, dear learners? Look at here. There is a figure. This is a glass tube, dear learners. This glass tube fill up with hydrogen gas. If we apply here the strong electricity, I mean the spark in hydrogen gas in this glass tube, then from the glass tube, the yulish uh, radiate uh, ray will emit from the glass tube. And when we just passes these emitted, emitted rays from prism, free prism, then we can get some lines, we can get some spectrum with definite wavelength here. These are the spectrum like this from, uh, from hydrogen, we can red, green, indigo, violet, different types of spectrum we can get from here, mainly four. A spectrum uh, we can get from hydrogen atom. This is the atomic spectrum of hydrogen. And like this, according uh, the atomic spectrum, there is two type of spectrum we have. One is uh, emission, emission or radiate spectrum. Radiate spectrum. This spectrum is bright, a combination of bright lines bright lines, B-R-I-T, bright lines, okay, dear learners, bright lines, and how the emission spectrum, when the emission spectrum will form, when the electron just jump from higher energy level to lower energy level, then the electron radiate energy or emit energy, dear learners, emit energy, emit energy, then the, then the emission spectrum will form. The emission spectrum will uh, create the bright lines in the spectrum series. And number two is absorption, absorption spectrum, dear learners. When the electron, when the electron just gain energy and jump to the higher energy level, then the electron absorb energy, and from these, from these we can get the absorption energy, dear learners. This is absorption energy is in the dark line, black line, some black combination, some black lines. Okay, dear learners. And 
how can we find out the uh, spectrum spectrum is just find out by its uh, wavelength is an every uh, spectrum line having a particular wavelength with particular color and if we if we get the wavelength of the spectrum then we can easily find out the color of the spectrum here there is a Rydberg equation to find out the wavelength wavelength how can we uh, find out uh, wavelength uh, find out the calculate the wavelength of any type of spectrum real learners uh, this is the formula 1 by lambda is equal r is 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square look at this here real learners this is the wavelength i mean uh, the lambda is the wavelength of the spectrum here r is is the read back read Rydberg constant, constant. The uh, value of this uh, Rydberg constant is 109.678 per centimeter. Okay, and here N1 is the lower energy level. I mean, here look at this. This is the N1. I mean, N1 means the lower energy level, and N2 means the higher energy level. Look at this. This is the N2. N2 means the higher energy level. Also here, this is the N2, this is the N1. So here we can get the values of N2 is 3 and N1 is 1 here. If we put these values here, then we can easily find out the wavelength of the uh, definite uh, spectrum here uh, when the electron just jump from higher energy level to lower energy, I mean jump from third energy level to first energy level. We can easily find out different types of spectrum like uh, when the electrons are from a fourth energy level to one, fourth to two energy level, fourth to three energy level, or five to one, different types of uh, spectrum we can get. And for your better understand, uh, dear learners, some information is uh, written here uh, uh, on the uh, uh, left side here. Look at this. This is the scale for the spectrum. Look at this, dear learners. Uh, this this spectrum always uh, indicates by uh, lambda we can uh, easily find out the uh, wavelength uh, uh, from the spectrum here lambda always expresses here in nanometer when you just find out the lambda here then you just convert the values to the nanometer then compare compare the values here different types of values shows different types of color look at this dear learners uh, this is the scale, uh, lowest, uh, lowest spectrum uh, wavelength which, which wavelength is uh, um, uh, lowest here cosmic ray and accordingly uh, the increasing way gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet ray, visible ray, uh, infrared ray, microwave and radio wave. Okay dear learners, if the if the, the uh, wavelength of uh, the color uh, is less than 0 0.0005 nanometer, then it will be the cosmic ray. And when the, color, uh, when the wavelength of the spectrum is uh, 0 0.005 to 0 0.01 nanometer, then it will be the X-ray. Accordingly, this is the uh, uh, sorry, this is the gamma ray. Accordingly, X-ray. Accordingly, uh, UV. Uh, uh, ultraviolet ray now visible ray this is the important for you visible ray uh, there is some mathematical problem uh, some uh, creative question uh, uh, will be set from this uh, range here visible ray we see is visible for us we can see this type of color there is seven color we can easily see uh, the uh, from the wavelength here look at this you if you want to just Remember this, this uh, term V, G, R. Here, seven colors are present there. V means the violet, I means the indigo, B means the blue, uh, G means the green, Y means the yellow, o, o means the orange, and finally R means the red. The, the, the range of the uh, uh, values of the lambda is here 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer. If you uh, get the values of wavelength in the range within the range, then you can uh, easily say that these are the visible color, visible spectrum. 
Now here I just write down separately for individual color here violet for 382 for 24 nanometer. If the wavelength will get uh, in this range, then the spectrum will violet color like indigo color, blue color, green color, yellow color, orange color, and finally red color. Then uh, red color is uh, 647 nanometer to 780 nanometer. Okay. So from 780 nanometer to 1 millimeter, then it will be the range of IR uh, rays. And 1 millimeter to 1 meter, then it is a microwave. From 1 meter to 10 kilometer, uh, when the wavelength uh, we can get, then it will be the radio wave. So largest wave, uh, largest spectrum, largest wave, uh, rays is radio wave. And lowest is the cosmic ray. This is the important uh, information for you. These are the these are the uh, discussion regarding the atomic spectrum, dear learners. Spectrum, dear learners. Previous uh, videos I uh, discussed there about the atomic spectrum. How the atomic spectrum will form? Here uh, we want to learn about the hydrogen atomic spectrum. Dear learners, if we take a sample of hydrogen uh, atom, I mean uh, in the sample there is a huge amount of hydrogen atom present. When we heated this, then different uh, uh, electron of, from different atom of hydrogen gain energy and this electron jump to the higher energy level. And the electron, look at here, uh, this is the center of atom, I mean nucleus, this is the first energy level, second energy level third energy level, fourth energy level, fifth energy level, like this. If we heated this, then the electron of lower energy level, like this electron, when uh, gain energy, then this electron may jump to the second energy level, may jump to the third energy level, may jump to the fourth energy level, and different atom of electron just jump different energy level because of they gain different types of energy. And when they reach to the higher energy level, this is not the stable state. When we stop the uh, heated um, uh, um, uh, the energy, then uh, the electrons just uh, come back to its own energy level by releasing energy. When energy uh, released from the electron by the electron, then the spectrum will form, we know. Okay, and uh, by this, when the electron just release energy or emit energy and fall the lower energy level, then different types of line, combination of line spectrum will form. This is the uh, spectrum series, we call the spectrum series. Different scientists are discovered different spectrum series. After their name, the series uh, named uh, to us. Okay. Uh, dear learners, uh, if the electron from higher energy level, any type of higher energy level, just come back to the first energy level. This is the flat figure for the atom uh, like this. This is the uh, first energy level. I just uh, let it. Uh, this is the second energy level, N2, third energy level, fourth energy level, uh, N is 5, N is 6, N is 7 here. Just we let it the energy level like this. If the if the different electrons from different higher energy level fall on fast energy level, then some spectrum line are found there. Look at this real learners. This is some combination of lines of a spectrum. This is a series of a spectrum. This series is just named after uh, Mr. Lyman. Uh, Mr. Lyman just discovered this. This is the Lyman and that is why this is Lyman series. And when the electron from the higher energy level just fall to the second energy level like this, dear learners, then the series uh, is just uh, Burma series after the discovery of my scientist Bummer. This is the Bummer series. Okay? And when the electrons from the higher energy level just fall on the third energy level, then another spectrum series will uh, 
from here this is the passion series dear learners this is passion series and uh, so on there is another series uh, when the electron uh, from higher energy level uh, fall on the fourth energy level this is the bracket series dear learners bracket series and when uh, the electron fall on uh, fifth energy level then it is the uh, phone series dear learners phone series and finally when uh, fall on the sixth energy level this is the this is the Humphrey series dear learners Humphrey uh, Humphrey uh, series Humphrey series and these are the different types of spectrum series are formed in hydrogen atom dear learners uh, look at the left side different types of spectrum series are just right down here when uh, we use uh, to determine the wavelength of the spectrum i mean uh, if we want to identify the uh, color of the spectrum then we want to calculate the wavelength first and there is a equation in the previous uh, videos i will uh, i uh, discussed there also, this equation is like this, uh, 1 by lambda is equal to R is 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square, you know. Here, this is the Rydberg equation. By this equation, we can easily find out the lambda. Here, look at here, N1 means the, the lower energy level and N2 means the higher energy level. Look at the series here, Lyman series. When, when uh, the electron from different types of higher energy level fall on first energy level then the Lyman series will form look at here uh, n1 is here fixed i mean lower energy level one but n2 is here uh, there is no limited here look at this when uh, electron jump from two uh, 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 second energy level to first energy level then also Lyman spectrum will form uh, if the electron just jump from third energy level to one energy level, then same Lyman spectrum will form accordingly like this. And when Bama series will form, then look at this, the lower energy level will two key here. This is the fixed for Bama series. Uh, the electron may uh, come here from third, fourth and fifth. In passion series, look at this, the lower energy level now fixed for passion series. Look at this, N is three. Here n is 3. Then n2 may become from 4th energy level to 3rd, 4th to 3rd, 5th to 3rd, 6th to 3rd, and 7th to 3rd, like so on. We can get the power spect uh, passion spectrum real learners. And accordingly, in uh, bracket 4, the lower energy level 4, higher energy level will be 5, 6, 7, and so on. And uh, according to the fun series, uh, four series, uh, there is the lower energy level is 5 and accordingly higher energy level will be 6, 7 and so on. And uh, lastly, when average series we have then the lower energy level here 6 and the higher energy level will be 7, 8 and so on. By this we can get different types of series after the scientist name. And these are the uh, hydrogen atomic spectrum real learners. Okay, that's all today dear learners. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Thank keep watching and uh, if you like these videos, please do share, comments, and subscribe my channel. Uh, that's all today. Allah Hafiz.